How do I look? The same. Uh, just as regal and handsome as yesterday, sir. Um, okay, well, send them in, send them in. Conceive a child, she'll give birth to a son, and we'll call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. You've got nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure I know how babies are made, and I don't think that's gonna work. I see him, but not here and now. I perceive him, but not here and now. I perceive him, but not here and now. I perceive him, but not here and now. Are we sure we are just following an aeroplane? Maybe a satellite? It happens to the best of us. Well, it says here, look at my servant, whom I sent him. He is my chosen one, he pleases me. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or raise his voice in public. He will not crush the weak of greed or put out a flickering candle. He will bring justice to all who did wrong. He will not falter in his heart until justice prevails throughout the earth. Even distant lands beyond the sea will wait for his destruction. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to anyone else, nor share my praise with hard idols. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. And I'm supposed to fear this? This child, an infant, with no power, no authority, just a star hanging above his head? Me? Of course not, sir. You could totally beat up a child. <laughs> <laughs> and they call him a king. A king of who? Of where? Based on what? Being born? Some of us have earned our titles. I am King Herod, ruler of the Eastern Provinces, ally of Rome. Herod the Horrible, Bake of Finalist, Gold Medalist in Hurdles, unbeaten at home, and most likely to become a dictator in year three. Very impressive CV, sir. Surely these. Magi know that I've destroyed anyone who stood in my way. Surely the stars are stood so, so witness of what I've been prepared to sacrifice. Not even my own wives and sons stood in my way. No, I even ordered their murder. Merciful move. You kindly sent them away to a nice countryside in a farmhouse. That was the official thing, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> These Magi give this infant his own subjects and seek him out, like dying men searching for water, like he can save them. I 
I have won them wars. I have bought my place with the blood. And I have defied rulers to their faces and come out on top. Also, these people and this land will be under my control, under me! I have taken every ounce of power from every other hand. And now it is mine. Where is the child now? In Bethlehem, in Judea, as the prophet Micah wrote, and you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people, Israel. Bring the Magi back here. King Herod will see you now. safety of the child and the family and the general public, it should remain confidential between us. Do you understand me? Yeah, well, of course, yeah, how wise. Good, good. <laughs> the child is in Bethlehem. So go and seek him out. When you found him, report back to me so I too may go and honour him. Oh yes, of course we would. Oh, thank you so much for your time, thank sir. You. Thank you. He will fall like every other before him. And I, I, will remain. I saw the star. They were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. And they bowed and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. The Magi never return. God help them if I ever do. I should have known. There's always another coup, another leadership battle, another challenge that I'm strong enough to will. I spill blood to get where I am. And I'll do it again to keep what I have. <laughs> Herods and soldiers to wipe out all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, based on the Magi's report of the star's first appearance. Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A cry was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are dead. But Jesus was no longer in Bethlehem. After the Magi were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return, because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary. My power remains unstained. This king of the Jews, a blip in history. Those words and prophecies will fade away and remain unfulfilled. More empty promises by those who have failed to pay. No one will remember him. But everyone will know me. I am.
and will be the last king standing. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel, because those who tried to kill the child are dead. the uh -huh. 